Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat 1 theories again, and specifically about the character Reptile. This is one of the most beloved characters in the series and one of the most underutilized but before we get into the video i want to give a huge massive thank you to you guys for all of the support on the channel we are so close to 2,000 subscribers and i cannot even believe i'm saying that in a video i mean you guys have just been giving so much support and i really really appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel if, if you want to help support the channel check out the channel if you like what i post you know make sure to subscribe because i am keeping up with the videos and i love of giving you guys videos to watch every single week and you guys seem to be very positive in the comments and very positive you know in the messages and just being so so nice and you know really supporting the channel so thank you if you guys are new welcome to the channel but if you guys like the video make sure to like the video and i want to know your guys's thoughts down below in the comments do you guys you know like reptile is he one of your guys's favorite of the ninjas do you guys even think reptiles going to be in the game let me know in the comments and i also want to know your mortal kombat theories for future videos thanks ever since i was little playing mortal kombat and especially in mortal kombat 9 i have always been a huge fan of reptile he's been one of my favorite ninjas and probably my favorite character if not only beaten by melina just because of the way her character plays in a lot of the games However, he was absent in Mortal Kombat 11, and a lot of fans were disappointed with NetherRealm Studios by not putting him in. He is definitely one of the most famous ninjas besides Sub-Zero and Scorpion, obviously. However, we do have a couple of teases from the game's creator, Ed Boon, and these are in the form of Twitter posts. He shares a couple of photos and saying some, you know, a little bit, you know, creative ways of hinting at possibilities of different characters being in the game but both of these posts include our boy reptile the first one says some making their way back into action with a dragon emoji a dragon is similar to a reptile i mean is a dragon a reptile i'm not sure but i'm sure that it's just because of the mortal kombat dragon but a couple of characters on this post are reiko and tanya who are just barely in mortal kombat x so maybe he's you know referencing those characters however reptile is also in this picture so there's a little bit of hope there he also tweeted not too long ago a well he retweeted someone else's post i'm guessing this is a fan page that said that new mortal kombat trailer makes the prospects of seeing all these ninjas in one game a real possibility hashtag mortal kombat and this is a picture of Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Reptile, Rain, and my boy Ermac, who is also, you know, one of my top picks for Mortal Kombat 1. Ed Boon retweeted this and said, could very well be the case. Now, if you are a Reptile fan, these tweets might get you a little bit excited because, I mean, this this just gives us a little sliver of hope for our boy to be in the game. But the real question is, how will Reptile be in the game? And we're going to talk about that in just a second. So with this new Mortal Kombat timeline created by Liu Kang, there is a lot of possibilities and a lot of stories already being changed that we're seeing right now. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are brothers. Melina is a human who has a disease. There's so much opportunity for Mortal Kombat to change up origin stories here. And this is why it's so fun to make theory videos because you never really know what we're going to be getting in this new Mortal Kombat 1 time. Timeline. So I think it would be really cool and I think a lot of fans would find it somewhat refreshing if Reptile was actually human, at least to start with. So let's get into this theory of Reptile possibly being human in Mortal Kombat 1. So here's my theory for human Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. Now there isn't a lot of evidence for this, but I think that it's mainly just a lot of fun to get hyped and speculate with you guys, the fans and the community about what we could get in this new game. So I think it would be really cool if they introduced reptile as a human in mortal kombat 1 and since we know shang sung is going to be the pre-order bonus for the game that means he might have a big role in the story mode and i think it'd be really cool if shang sung gave us our scaly reptilian version of reptile at some point in the story i think it'd be really cool if reptile was one of the most skilled ninjas in all of you know the the realms and he's going to participate in mortal kombat if they are doing a tournament in the game and Shang Tsung realizes this, this guy's ability and he kind of changes his origin from what he did to Melina. And instead of creating Melina 
Shang Tsung actually creates our reptilian version of reptile. Now let me get into this. Since they announced that Melina is going to have a different origin and she is going to be a human that gets a disease that disfigures her, I think it'd be really cool if they translated her origin to reptile in a specific way. I think instead of Shang Tsung creating a new like clone version of Katana using her DNA and using Tarkatan DNA, I think it'd be really cool if he experimented on reptile and created a reptile Tarkatan type of mixture and our reptile has slight Tarkatan abilities such as the blades, such as the sharp teeth, and that way we get like this new evil looking like super gross super scary reptile later in the game but i think his original outfit should be his human version and then his alternate skin is the one that is the actual reptilian version in that you know you could unlock in the crypt or you could unlock doing maybe a classic tower playing as reptile the closest thing that we've gotten to this so far is a baraka skin in mortal kombat 11 where they gave him dc comics killer croc like skin and scales and muscles and made him you know this mixture of a lizard reptilian creature mixed with a Tarkatan, Baraka, and I think that this is a good template to go off of, but I would like to see something even more vicious and even more scary, especially with the updated graphics of Mortal Kombat 1. And I think that this could be a really cool, you know, origin story for Reptile, and maybe, you know, during this process, he actually escapes kind of early, and that's why he's more, you know, humanoid and not so much reptilian, and maybe Shang Tsung was trying to be, be creating, like, a reptilian army but it failed and reptile escaped and reptile is you know just on the run and he's hiding from shang sung in this story mode now obviously there there isn't a ton of you know evidence for this theory i've said that but i think it's just fun to speculate what we could get in this new series i think it'd be really cool if they introduced a reptile who had a more interesting origin story, uh, just because I think there's a lot of opportunity for a lot of the characters in Mortal Kombat to get new origin stories that the fans can really get attached to, and especially new fans of the series who've never played the games before. I think this is the perfect opportunity to update the character and give us human reptile for a majority of the story mode at least. I would just love to see human reptile at the start of the game and have it be his main skin for Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1 with his reptilian scaly version being his alternate skin for once. That is what I would love to see in Mortal Kombat 1, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys have a different idea for how they could do human reptile in Mortal Kombat 1 story mode? Do you guys even want to see a human reptile? And do you guys even think reptile will be announced in Mortal Kombat 1? I'm really, really hoping that we get to see reptile soon. He's one of my favorite characters of the entire Mortal Kombat series, and I think he's heavily underutilized, especially in the story mode. I want him to be a very unique and very different character than what we've seen in the past. And I think, you know, making him a, hum a human character at first is the perfect way to distinguish this character. And I just want to really know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys and just picking your brains and seeing what you guys want in Mortal Kombat 1. If you guys have any other theories for Mortal Kombat 1, leave them down in the comments below as well, and you know, maybe I'll make a future video about it. But without anything else, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the video. It really helps the channel out, and I'm trying to get to uh, 2,000 subscribers, and then I'm hoping to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of of August. So we'll see how we can do that. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to, uh, but you know, you guys have been giving lots and lots of support to the channel. So I believe in us. I think we can get there. Uh, it's just a matter of time. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. But other than that, have fun, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.